Okay, this is a WordPress tutorial for users that have installed WordPress on their website. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to sign into your dashboard and you're going to do that by typing in your domain name slash wp-login.php and it's going to take you to this page where you're going to type in your username and your password that you created when you first installed WordPress. So once you're in your dashboard, this is where you manage and control everything that appears on your website. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to give your website a theme, which is the same thing as a layout. So you do that by going to Appearance, Add New Theme, and you're either going to be able to search for a theme or you can use their filter. So let's say you want a blue theme. You can type in here blue and click the search and that's going to take you to a bunch of blue themes and once you choose the one you like you're going to hit install and then you're going to click on install now. I'm not going to click on it since I already have a theme that I like but when you do click on install now it's going to automatically install the layout for you and then you can go to themes and you're going to be able to view the current theme right here. So once you have your layout set, you're going to want to set up your permalinks. And to do that, you're going to go to settings, permalinks. And permalinks is a URL pointing to a specific blog. And it's very, very important that you set these up because if you don't set up a permalink, you are not going to be able to um, view specific blog posts and people are not going to be able to leave you comments either. So you can choose some of their uh, default settings, but I do recommend you use a custom structure. And the custom structure that I gave is archives, percentage post name percentage and what this here does the percentage post name percentage is that it takes the title that you gave your blog post and it automatically inputs it there so you should it says it's optional to give your category base and your tag base a name but I highly suggest you do because if you ever decide to give your blog post a category and a tag when users try to click on that category it's going to take them to an error page so I gave it something simple category and tag and once you have all this set you're going to save changes and then after you have your permalinks done you can go ahead and set up your pages and you can click on add new and your pages are let me show you an example this is my website and this is a page my web design is another page and contact is another page so this is where you're going to give the name of your page and this is where you're going to write the content of the page. And then you can set it as a main page or you can set it as a sub page under different pages. The first page, you're not going to have other pages. It's just going to be the main page. But since I have a web design and a contact page, I can set this page underneath these two. You can also set the order that you want these pages to appear right here and once you have everything set you're going to hit publish I'm not gonna hit publish oh I just did um, you can go to edit and you're gonna have your pages here and you can edit them or you can delete them so this one I can delete And then once you have your pages set, you're going to want to go to settings. You're going to go to reading. 
and this is where you're going to set up your front page so where do you want users to first when they first type in your website where what do you want them to see first do you want them to see your blog posts your latest post or do you want a static page which is one of the pages that you created so if you want them to just see your latest post you can click here or if you want them to start from a page that you created you click on a static page and choose one of the pages um, if you click on your latest posts you can set up how many posts you want that you want to show at the same time and there's some other settings you can change once you have that you can click on save changes and you're all set with that and then to create your first blog post you go to posts add new and it's the same thing as a page you go here and you write your title of your blog and this is where you write the content and if you notice here you see the permalink it gave it an automatic permalink slash archives slash my blog it automatically input that there which is perfect that's what you want and then this is the categories and the tags that I was talking about here you can give it a new tag I already have some tags here you can click on some or you can add new tags and you can give it a category you can add a new category or choose one that you've already created and once you have all that set you click on publish and I'm not going to click on it since I don't need this but to edit different posts you go to edit and here you're going to see all my different blog posts and you can either edit or delete it or preview it this one I can delete and this is the end of my tutorial I will hopefully make some other ones that will be a little more detailed.